Good evening, boys and girls. Tonight's lesson is lesson 6.2, Generate Equivalent Fractions. Our essential question tonight is, how can you use multiplication to find equivalent fractions? Would you please write this essential question down at the top of page 115 in your Go Math book? Okay, boys and girls, we're going to look at number two in your Go Math book. Number two says, write two equivalent fractions for each. So we're going to look at the fraction two thirds. They want us to make two fractions that are equal to two thirds. Well, we can use multiplication to find two fractions that are equal to two thirds. Now, all I need to do is I need to multiply my numerator and my denominator by the same number and that will give me an equal fraction to two-thirds. So I'm going to choose the number two. I'm going to multiply my fraction two-thirds by the number two. So I have to multiply the, the denominator by two, so three times two, and I have to multiply the numerator by two. So I will have two times two. Now three times two will give me six as my new denominator for my equivalent fraction. And two times two will give me four. So two thirds is equal to four sixths. Now, if you can see, I drew a model of two-thirds. So I have two parts shaded out of three. And now I have my same model, two-thirds here. But now I'm only going to draw a line down the middle horizontally. And so now I have, instead of two-thirds, I have one, two, three, four parts shaded out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So here is my equal fraction to two thirds, four sixths. Now they asked me to make two equivalent fractions. So, so far I have four sixths. Well, now I need to make an another equivalent fraction to two thirds. Now we're gonna use multiplication to do this. So I have two thirds again and I need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. I'm going to choose the number three. So I'm going to say, well, three times three gives me nine, and two times three gives me six. So two thirds and six ninths are equivalent. Now here's how two-thirds and six-ninths are equal showing the models. So if you see here I have my two-thirds shaded here. Now I'm going to draw two lines horizontally in my second model for my two-thirds. So here's one line and two lines and I just cut it into more equal parts, so smaller equal parts. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six shaded, just like my numerator, out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, out of nine, my denominator. And if, as you can see here, you can still see the two thirds shaded into my six ninths. So the equivalent fractions for two thirds that we found were four sixths and six ninths. They are both equal to two thirds. Okay, let's look at number three. Number three is the fraction one half. So we need to find two equivalent fractions for one half. So two fractions that are equal to one half. I can use multiplication to find this. I'm gonna multiply the denominator and the numerator by the same number and that will give me an equal fraction to one half. 
I'm going to choose the number four. We could choose two or three or four or five, any number really, but I'm just gonna choose the number four to find an equal fraction. So I'm going to say two times my denominator, which is four, two times four gives me eight, and one times four gives me four. Now remember, you always have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number to get the equivalent fraction. So what is equal to one half? Well, four eighths is equal to one half. That's one fraction. Now I'm going to find another fraction that's equal to one half. So I need to find another number to multiply by the one half. I'm going to choose the number 3. So I'm going to multiply my denominator and my numerator by the number 3. So 2 times 3 equals 6. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So I'm going to say 1 times 3 equals 3. So 1 half is equal to 3 sixths as well. Now if you notice my 1 half and my 4 eighths, is it 4 half of 8? Yes it is, so that means it's equal to 1 half. Let's look at the 3 sixths. Is it my numerator 3 half of the denominator 6? Yes it is, so it's equal to 1 half. Half. That's a little trick that you can remember when you're trying to find equivalent fractions for one half. Okay, let's look at number four. We need to find two equivalent fractions for fourth fifths. So we're going to find two fractions that are equal to four fifths. Remember that we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number to find an equal fraction. So let's find one together. I'm going to multiply my numerator and denominator by 2. So I'm going to say 5 times 2. Well, 5 times 2 gives me a denominator of 10. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So we're going to say 4 times 2 also, and it gives me 8. So 4 fifths is equal to 8 tenths. That's one fraction. Now we need to find another equivalent fraction to 4 fifths. Boys and girls, I would like you to try this on your own. So you're going to find a fraction that's equal to 4 fifths. So remember, all you have to do is choose a number and multiply the denominator and the numerator by that same number. So go ahead, pause the video, try it on your own, and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, boys and girls, I chose the number 3 to multiply by my 4 fifths. You might have chosen a different number as me, but that's okay. So what I did was I multiplied 5 times 3 and that gives me 15 as my denominator and 4 times 3 gives me 12. Now 4 fifths is equal to 12 fifteenths because I multiplied the numerator and denominator by the number 3. So my equivalent fractions that I found were 8 tenths and 12 fifteenths. Those are all equal to 4 fifths. Okay, let's look at numbers 5 and 6 in your Go Math book. It says tell whether the fractions are equivalent. We're going to write the equal sign or the not equal sign. So for number 5, we have 1 fourth and 3 twelfths. So what we're going to say is we're going to try to use multiplication to find if they're equal or not equal. We're going to look at our numerator and denominator first for our 1 fourth. Now, remember that to find an equivalent fraction, we had to multiply the denominator and the numerator by the same number. So let's look and see. If I have 4 as my denominator, 
Can I multiply something times four to get twelve? Yes, I can multiply four times three. Now, in order for the fraction to be equivalent, I would have to say four times three gives me twelve. Well, then one times three would have to give me three, and it does work. So I can multiply the numerator and the denominator by three, and it gives me three twelfths. Four times three is twelve, and one times three is three. So these fractions are equal to each other. One fourth is equal to three twelfths. Now let's look at number six. Number six says four fifths and five tenths. We have to see if they're equal. So I'm going to look at my denominator first. If I have five and I have to get to ten, what would I need to multiply by five to give me ten? Well, five times two gives me ten. Now, in order for five tenths to be equal to four fifths, we would have to multiply the numerator by two as well. So, if I say four times two, well, four times two gives me eight, and I have a five here. So, four fifths does not equal to five tenths because if I said five times two, that gives me 10, but four times two is supposed to give me eight, not five. So four fifths does not equal five tenths. Now, boys and girls, we can check this by doing cross multiplication. So what we can do is we can multiply across diagonally we can multiply 10 times four. Well, 10 times four is 40. And five times five is 25. Now, I'm gonna look at my two numbers. I have a 40 and a 25. Those are not the same numbers. So that does confirm that four fifths does not equal five tenths. Now, I want you to look at the rest of those problems. So number seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. I would like you to circle those problems for me and you're going to do those on your own for homework tonight. So go ahead and circle number seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 and you're gonna do those on your own. You're gonna see if they're equal or not equal to each other. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at number 13 in your Go Math book. It says Jan has 12 or has a 12 ounce milkshake. Four ounces in the milkshake are vanilla and the rest is chocolate. What are two equivalent fractions that represent the fraction of the milkshake that is vanilla? So we know that four ounces out of 12 ounces are vanilla for her milkshake. And what they want is they want us to find two equivalent fractions for the portion of her milkshake that is vanilla. So for four twelfths. So we need to find two fractions that are equal to four twelfths. Now we're gonna use multiplication to find this. So all I need to do is multiply four twelfths by the same number, the numerator and denominator by the same number. I'm gonna choose the number two. So I'm gonna say 12 times two and four times two. Well, 12 times two is 24. That's my new our denominator. And four times two is eight. So there's one equal fraction to four twelfths because I multiplied my numerator and denominator by the same number. Let's find another fraction for four twelfths that is equal to it. I'm gonna choose the number three to multiply. So 
12 times 3, that gives me 36 as my denominator. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So 12 times 3, now 4 times 3 is 12. So my two fractions that are equivalent to 4 twelfths are 8 24ths and 12 36ths. Now for number 14, boys and girls, I would just like you to put a star next to number 14. We are going to work on this one tomorrow in class together. So all you need to do is just put a star next to number 14. Okay, boys and girls, here's your homework questions for tonight. You're going to be working on numbers 1 and 2 in your Go Math book. And number 1, you have to find the equivalent fraction to 2 fifths. And for number two, you need to find which fractions are equal to one-fourth. Now remember that you also need to do on page 115, um, numbers 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And also on page 116, you need to answer all of those questions on page 116. So numbers 1 through 6. When you get done with your homework, don't forget to assess yourselves. Have a good evening, and we'll see you tomorrow in class. Bye.